Meanwhile, following an attack on the U.S. Embassy in Benghazi, Republicans are accusing the Obama administration of covering up failed efforts to protect embassy personnel. This comes as President Barack Obama has appealed for extra funding from Congress to protect its embassies. CCTV's Nina Maria Ports has more. President Obama's appeal to Congress for extra funding for the protection of U.S. diplomatic personnel and American embassies overseas is widely seen as part of a fight back over several scandals currently plaguing his administration. One of those scandals simply won't go away, and that is the question of Benghazi. Republicans are increasingly angry about what they say was the administration's deliberate cover-up of its handling of the terrorist attack on the U.S. diplomatic mission in Benghazi in Libya in September last year. The Obama administration has consistently said that it did not deliberately mislead the American people. The Republicans insist that the Obama administration, the White House, crafted and manipulated a set of talking points in order to cover up the fact that it failed to protect those diplomatic personnel. President Obama making a direct appeal to Congress and putting the ball firmly in the Republicans' court. The State Department has consistently argued that it could not come to the protection of those four uh, American uh, personnel that were, that were killed in that terrorist attack because it didn't have enough money to spend on security. And that, in part, was Congress's fault. Now, Nina Mary reports there in Washington.